So Twitter Puritans are big mad this morning. I posted this on Twitter. I saw this on Mr. Obvious's channel, and I thought it was really funny. So I'm going to post it on Twitter. And then the replies came flooded in. I'd like to point out, though, real quick that they are unable to ratio it because, well, it's true. And most of these people on Twitter that act like this are only a handful of people. They think they're fighting the Revolutionary War by going after these memes, and it's really hilarious. So I had a blue check mark who writes for several game publications. I want to point that out. So this is a game journalist. Uh, and as always, tell me you're a virgin without telling me you're a virgin. This is from a guy who can't grow a full beard or sideburns, by the way. Uh, so he posts this and a bunch of Puritans came flooding in. I, of course, find this funny. Uh, they always want to talk about uh, how big your junk is or how much sex you get, which is funny and ironic considering that they're, they're Puritans. Okay, they don't like... They don't like sex. They don't like that kind of stuff. It's dirty and gross. Uh, most of them all live with cats, uh, drink cheap boxed wine all day, and hang out at Starbucks. So, uh, yeah, Deadwood Dale makes a good, really point. He makes a really good point here. I thought this was uh, this was good to show. So here comes some of the replies, as you can see, following that. His, his D fell off because a woman looked normal in a video game. Even though, is this what you think real women look like? You know, they don't say that with these designs. And I always found that kind of funny. Like these designs, they don't, they don't defend it like that. They always go after the Japanese looking women or the Japanese uh, anime looking women. Stuff like that female characters that are designed to look attractive. Those are the ones that they always attack. Oh, well, you can't look at that without masturbating or something. But these these are what real women look like, apparently. Uh, you see them all the time at the grocery store. Uh, when you're out, you know, doing some errands, getting gas. I see women that look like this all the time, but that, it never happens with this, ever. I, I thought that was another good point worth showing here. This is from Bud the Art Guy number one. Also making a very, very good point here. Uh, then we get stuff like this. Spectacularly down bad. Some uh, pretty, pretty, pretty lame quote tweets. But it's all the same. Here's another one. American designed middle-aged white man. Which way Western man? Not even, not even funny. Uh, that's why the stereotype that they can't meme exists. But you see him right here. Here's another one posting this. Uh, why don't they do that with the with the Tila post, right? LMAO, none of these nerds know what women look like outside of video games. Right, they look like this, right? They look like that. Sure, sure. Inventing new ways to be mad about your pornos, respect. It's always about, it's always about sex. Every time. Oh, then they point out that it's a Finnish company. Who cares? Who cares? This is what a what a typical um, American Western designed woman looks like. That's why comics are dead. That's why entertainment in the West is dying. That's why anime is growing and really kind of flourishing in this dead, this creatively dead environment. But I find it funny, like. Games journalists, they hate it. You point out this stuff, they get furious. And then their little, you know, like-minded followers come in, people that don't really buy anything or support anything. They just fight the Revolutionary War on Twitter. It's kind of it's kind of just what they what they do. And it's just funny to me. It's always about sex. It's always about your junk. It's always incel this or that. Just for pointing out that one character looks more attractive than the other and it's always from Japan. Maybe this is maybe this is why Japanese entertainment is thriving. Games journalists, they're more salty than ever because of the fact that well, nobody gives a shit about their opinions anymore. Nobody cares. Games websites are just dying one after the other. 
Because who needs them anymore? Because they always have bad takes. Always have bad takes. They don't understand the market that they work in. Uh, they knowingly tell half of their audience to F off. Uh, the guy who started all of this, that games journalist, I looked down his his uh, Twitter feed. It's all about Trump, 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 Trump. Guy's not even in office anymore. It's been months. We're on, we're on July. It's been seven months. And they're still talking about this man. It's pathetic. This is why your medium is dying. You do know that half the country voted for that man, whether you like him or not. This is, this is the problem with a lot of these businesses. They're willingly uh, just mocking half of their customer base. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about all this. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the subject. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, take a moment. Make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's something going on right now, and they've been unsubscribing people. So just take a second and double check on that and subscribe if you're new.